Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, My name is Azmin Abdullah I'm a PhD candidate from UITM Shah Alam And today I would like to present a part of my research work With the title uh, PAPR Reduction Using SES SLM Technique in STFBC MIMO OFDM And this presentation is for International Symposium of Engineering Technologies ISET in UITM Kuala Terengganu, Malaysia and this is the extension work of my previous work using SES SLM technique and in this paper uh, we are utilizing SES SLM technique in MIMO OFDM system while previously we are using the SES SLM technique um, in conventional OFDM system so this is the outlines of this presentation and um, firstly we are talking about we will talk about the uh, introduction the background studies of the topics and then methodology results and discussion and lastly the conclusion that we achieved okay this is the introduction of the um, topics in recent years information technology has progressively led to global energy consumption due to the demands of mobile communication around the world and in this level the main component to reduce power consumption depends on the high power amplifier efficiency which is associated to the peak to average power ratio Okay, the, it is about 50 to 80 percent of the power consumption is at the power amplifier and it will cause the power deficiency and this is caused by the power to average power ratio which is from the OFDM system so uh, some papers uh, reported that PAPR exceed about 10 dB in LTE and WCDMA and this uh, research is reported by the Akate Lucen and Vodafone Chair in 2009 in Germany. So, um, this is the methodology of our proposed technique. In this technique, we propose to have uh, several candidates in order to choose the minimum PAPR among them. For example, in 64 QAM, we are using six, six candidates. Every candidate holds the same information or same data, but we, it will go through a different um, phase factor using the SESSM technique. But the other process is same. Okay, the data firstly will be um, modulated using SESSM and then we will go through QAM or digital modulation using in this paper we are using 64 QAM and then this is the MIMO system we are using the STFBC uh, diversity scheme and in this paper where we are using the uh, two antennas so we must map the data into two sequence two data sequence okay at this and then we will select the maximum PAPR among them and lastly we will select the minimum PAPR candidate pair okay, for example if the number one is the the first candidate is the um, the chosen one okay the minimum PAPR so the pair of the first candidate will be the will be transmit through antenna 1 and then antenna 2 and after that and after that um, the site information is embedded in the data sequences so uh, as we can see here the site information is embedded at the front of the sequence and at the middle of the sequence okay um, so uh, this bit side information will give 
the information it, which candidates has been chosen for transmission. So at the receiver, we can simply retrieve the data. And this is the bit permutation of PABR and the embedded site information. Okay, um, as we are using six candidates for 64 QAM, the first candidate is the original one. Okay, we, in this case, we have six bits, C1, C2, C3, C4, and C5, and C6. So this is the original one. We keep it as the original one at the candidates one. For the for the candidates number two, okay, we shift the first bit of the original one into the second position. So the C1 will be the will be in the second position and C2 will be in the third position, C3 and so on. Okay. For candidates number three, this is a shift two where the C1 will be shifted to position. So it will be in the third position followed by C2 and then C3, C4 and so on. So in this um, 64 QAM, we have six candidate, meaning that we have uh, shift until shift five. So the C1 will be the at the back. Okay, and this one is the uh, site information in that in sub block data sequence. So the site information will be embedded at the head, okay, in the front of the sequence and at the middle of the sequence. Okay, for 64 QAM, we have six bits site information, and this is the simulation flowchart. We started the simulation flowchart using the MATLAB by generating the binary input bits. Okay, this is the physical layer of the simulation um, process. So we are using binary input bits, and then followed by serial to parallel conversion. Okay, and then embedded site information, six bit embedded site information, and then apply the SES technique. SES technique and then data modulate using modulator 64 QAM okay, in order to uh, convert it into complex number and then we map the data into two uh, sequence using STFBC okay, it's for MIMO and OFDM modulation using IFT process and then we calculate corresponding PAPR for every antenna and select the minimum PAPR. Then we calculate the you calculate and plotting of PAPR CCDF for different PAPR threshold value. And the transmission signal will be sent through the channel path. And before that we generate channel path and transmit minimum OFDM signal through the channel okay and then we add the additive white Gaussian noise and then OFDM demodulation using the FFT and followed by MRC decoding for MIMO OFDM to convert the STFBC just now okay basically this is the process at the receiver and data dimension using DIMO 264 QAM and then followed by SES decoding and remove SI and lastly we calculate the plotting of BER okay. even though we are focusing in PAPR problem but in this paper we also calculate the BER performance at the receiver in order to see the overall performance of it okay. basically the left one is for transmitter and the right uh, flow is for the um, process at the receiver so BER in performance is important in order to know uh, what happened to the overall performance ok this is the results of the uh, PAPR uh, firstly um, performance of PAPR is investigated between CISO and SCFBC MIMO OFDM and the result obtained uh, here for STFBC it shows a increment of PAPR CCDF value 
for original OFDM and SES SNM. The, the increment is about uh, 0 0.5 dB for SES SNM and 0 0.1 dB for the original one and for the SES technique. Um, for SES technique, it shows a slightly decreasing pattern between CISO and STFBC and the difference is about 0 0.2 dB. This result can conclude two findings. Um, first, the application of STFBC MIMO FDM can cause a degradation of BAPRCCDF. So, um, let's see at the uh, original one, the black one. The STFBC degrade about 0 0.1 dB from the original uh, CISO, meaning that uh, this MIMO also inherited the problem from the OFDM and which uh, even worse okay and the second one is the SES and SES SLM technique show the potential in mitigating high PAPR problem in CISO and the best performance can be achieved when using SES as a LAM technique in CISO or FDM system with 7.6 dB. So, uh, in this graph, you can see the potential of SES SLM and also SES technique in reducing high PAPR uh, for the um, MIMO system. And next, move to the second results. Uh, this is the comparison study of uh, SES SM technique with other previous uh, work, uh, for example, the DPP and also SLM technique. And as we can see here, SES SM technique achieved the best PAPR CCDF performance with uh, 7.8 dB, which is about 2.9 dB improvement. And then it followed by the SES technique, about 8 dB, and DPP, 8.5 dB. And lastly, the red one is the SLM technique, the conventional SLM techniques, about 9.8 dB. Um, and then we can move to the... Um, last results and this is the BER performance for CISO or VBLAST and SES SLM technique using STFPC. So um, for the CISO we, okay we have uh, here the black one okay and the performance of STFPC using uh, one and two 1 and 2 antennas okay we can um, so um, as we can see here there is a significant improvement of BER performance of SES SM technique compared to CISO and the BER the best BER can be achieved utilizing two receive antenna and for conclusion MIMO FM system also inherit the PAPR problem in its system and in this paper, utilizing SES and SES technique in my MIMO FDM system using the visa scheme are proposed. The results show a potential of these techniques to reduce PAPR in CISO FDM, BLAST MIMO FDM, and STFBC MIMO FDM. And the best performance can be achieved ut ut when utilizing SES SM technique in CISO or BLAST MIMO FDM system. Furthermore, the application of STFBC in MIMO FDM can uh, improve about 55% of the BER performance when compared to CISO or BLAST MIMO FDM. And I think um, that is all for now. And any question, you can uh, ask me through my email, nimze underscore 275 at yahoo.com. And um, thank you for listening.